part four. In this installment, we're going to work on finishing the guitar. We're going to spray our colored nitrocellulose lacquer and then our satin clear coat over it. We'll also rub on a true oil finish. It was a little difficult to capture the spray painting itself. I was doing most of these coats at night outside, um, largely for safety also just because of my schedule. I will show you as many pictures as I can of the coats, kind of show you what's going on and show you some of the cleanup that I was able to do inside just on trying to get the finish a little bit cleaner. So I hope you enjoy. All right, so kind of last look at what we've got before I start sanding it and hopefully get it ready. As you can see, our patch worked for the most part, cleaning up that little cavity spot just a little bit, making sure everything looks decent. There's nothing I forgot. As you can see right now, I'm realizing that I need to put in some sort of hole for a ground wire to the bridge. I looked to see if it would be best to go through the pickup cavity into the actual bridge posts. It seemed like it was going to be easier just to go to the bridge itself. A lot better angle. I don't really have any long drill bits that would have facilitated doing some of the other options. Um, it went relatively smooth though, obviously through the mahogany material, not the maple that we struggled with. As you can see, I've got 220 grit paper and I'm basically just starting to sand everything back. We are going to start with the body, but I figure since I'm here, we'll go ahead and hit the neck too and get ourselves ready for when it's time to go through and rub on our true oil, which I believe also needs a 220 grit sand. In absence of a sanding block, I'm using a still wrapped deck of cards. Um, it's working all right. See, hitting the back now, getting everything as smooth as I can, getting out any of the scratches I've put in from working on it. Um, obviously, working on it on this hard surface posed some risks, but it didn't do too much. Most of the issues I'm seeing uh, were my own doing. As you can see, we've gotten most of that double-sided tape that kind of got me off. Go through, clean up. Obviously, I want to get as much of this dust off as I am able to. The one thing I didn't think of as I was doing this was the 220 on those inlays. We'll have to go back and polish those up just a little bit, but it did help get the gunk off that had seeped out from when they were installed. Let's see, I found a couple more spots that are still a little worse than I would have liked. Hitting that spot one last time for sure. And now we're ready to get out the tape and start taping things off. All right, so we're gonna start out by filling the cavities with some newspaper, uh, just to get us a nice coat on the outside without a bunch seeping down into the body itself. Hopefully this will come out easily. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start taping off the finer lines. Let's see, trying to make sure I really get these as close in there as possible. Again, we're going to have a pretty abrupt transition from the neck to the body. So we want this to be as neat and tidy as possible. That looks good. So now we'll go ahead and go up to the nut and do the same. I'm also going to take some parchment paper here and just give a little bit more room for air, something to hold on to. Um, haven't used spray paint all that much, so I'm thinking this is a good idea just to be safe. All right, so here we have our first couple of coats of finish. Not quite as thick as I thought it was going to be, but actually looking back, this was perfect and I wish I had kept this technique. I'm basically just going around spraying the outside of the body, then either spraying the back or the top. Either one, didn't really matter, just kind of what was convenient and obviously hitting the headstock as well. All right, so here we are probably four or five coats in. Um, as you can see, things are starting to even out a little bit, but there have definitely been some technical errors. Um, sometimes just getting a little too confident and not ending the spray at the end of the body and just trying to brush back and forth. Um, I would definitely recommend, as I said, go through after you get one light coat, do another, and then if something seems a little off, you end up having a little bit of room to add more on and even things out. Here you can see us having some difficulty on the side as well, just trying to figure out how to spray that evenly. 
there's some more of the the excess build up so I end up sanding this back a little bit and I ended up also buying a second can of our blue lacquer to try to go through and just shore up this coat try to make sure things are as good as I can get them probably would have done better if I had practiced but here we are after I've sanded back some of the runs, some of the dots, and we're getting there. Like I said, as you as you build up coats, it does even out, and you can eventually fix most mistakes. So after these shots, I went ahead and sprayed an entire can of the satin lacquer. It started blending in, but it did also help take off some of the sheen. We're going to go ahead and transition to the neck next just in case there's any errors, make things easier to fix. I also found as I went to remove all of the tape that I had put on that there was a couple of little odd spots that we will have to sand back. So I'm glad I went through that process. Hopefully the next couple coats or maybe even the entire can will fix that. So now we just wanna make sure we don't have any excess paint on the neck, which I actually know we already do. Um, so here on the headstock, you can see we've had a little bit of overspray, so I wanted it to be kind of a clean line. So we're gonna get the rest of that off. And we'll actually use a block for this. I think we'll be able to at least. Alright, I won't bore, we, bore you with the rest of this. Uh, when we come back, this should be cleaned up and we'll be ready to put on the finish. Alright, so we've gotten all the paint off the headstock. Everything looks pretty clean and clear. We're ready to start trying to apply this. Um, according to the instructions, it just says to rub on with fingers or a cloth. Wow, this thing is really childproof. Until you spill it all over yourself. Alright. Good thing this little foil thing was here. That'll do. Alright, we're gonna try to make this easy on ourselves. Put a little spout on it. Let's see what happens. So I'm not trying to accidentally finish my floor here too, so we're gonna go. Maybe a little slow. I also, not even thinking, started with the fingerboard, which is actually going to make it easier when we get to the headstock because I can just put my hand against the back of it, as you can see I'm doing now. Pretty heavy coat on there. I hope I don't regret getting it onto the nut and myself. Happy with that. Ooh, I did not think this part through. I'm just trying to make sure we don't accidentally undo our work thus far. Heavy. All right, that'll do for now. So we're gonna get a little bit more wild here on the back. And that was not what I meant. So I'm already actually kind of liking the color we're seeing here. I was afraid this was gonna come out very, very bland and white. Hope this stuff isn't too flammable. Oh, it is. I'm trying to get, again, the bottom and try to make sure we get the sides of the frets here. little difficult to get into some of the corners even by hand. Now we are going to end up applying a 
couple of coats of this, as I said. And this stuff's already thickening up quite a bit, even now as I try to go back over it. So hopefully we'll be back in a couple hours to get the last one on. We're back for the second coat. I ended up not doing one last night. I found out the hard way that true oil sticks like crazy to my skin. Uh, but so far I think we're starting to see some results. It darkened up a little bit. I'm liking the hue we're getting. From what I've seen, I'm probably going to end up putting on four to six coats. We're going to try to knock these all out in one night and wrap this video up. I was planning on trying to put some gloves on to help with the, the sticking issue, but I could not find them. So we're going to try an olive oil trick I saw. Basically, after you put it on, you slather your hands in olive oil and then wash them off with normal dish soap. So I'll let you know when we come back to the next coat if that worked out for me. As I'm doing this, I also noticed that this stuff kind of flakes off of the nitro pretty easily, so I'm not too worried about anything seeping over. We are going to try to make this somewhat even though. The first one I know really soaks in, and it still feels like I've got some wood grain here, but we're going to start trying to make sure that we set ourselves up for success and just kind of seeing what happens. Also going to try to do this the easy way. Flipping it over last time didn't seem to help me out very much. So we're going to attempt to do the neck with it down. Back for coat three. So I came back about an hour and everything was still pretty tacky. We're about an hour and a half now. Let me check the clock. Um, still a little sticky on the fingerboard, but I think we'll be okay. It seems like we're starting to get a little bit quicker buildup on top than we are on the bottom. Still feeling a lot more wood grain down here. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and start applying, and I'll try to entertain you while I do it. If I can get the cap off. So as I said, I had a little bit of trouble getting this off of my hands last night after applying a coat. Um, this time I moved a little bit quicker to the sink and a lot more of it washed off initially. And then I did try the olive oil trick and I am pleased to say it works. So if you are using this, try to make sure you have some olive oil handy. Um, I put somewhere between a teaspoon and a tablespoon on my hands, rubbed it in really well, and then washed them again, and pretty much everything came off. Uh, last night, when I had the issue, I had sat up here trying to make sure everything was going to be sturdy, stable, hence why we're still doing this with the fretboard up instead of trying to flip it over. And I may have given it more time to dry, which may have made the process more difficult. Uh, the method I used for that was acetone, which I want to say it took about four acetone baths for my hands to get it all off, which it's just not good for your skin. So if you can avoid it, use olive oil. So again, trying to make sure we're really getting into the, the crevices here. Give ourselves a nice clean line at the neck. Hopefully I'll be able to clean up the, uh, the paint. I'm also gonna try to put a little bit thicker coat on the back this time, especially the headstock. The headstock felt like there was almost nothing there. And that may be the downfall of doing it this way. All right, we're back for our fourth coat. So I'm actually starting to realize something as I do this. I had originally said that I thought this neck was maple. But as you can see, we're actually getting a much darker color back here. Um, I'm guessing this is the same mahogany type material. And I'm not upset about it. Um, 
honestly, I think it looks quite nice, especially in contrast to everything else. It really adds a nice aesthetic. So we'll get ready here. Um, so I chose to do true oil for this just because it was what I had heard of. There wasn't really any sort of other thought to it. Uh, this was a little bit difficult to find when I got it. I'm used to most of everything I bought coming from either Stumac or Amazon and being, you know, a pretty quick trip. This, at the time I got it, I think was like $18 for the three ounce bottle. I happened to look just out of curiosity and to give you guys a little bit more information and saw this is now down to like 16 and you can actually buy just an eight ounce bottle for 10. So it took me two weeks to get the three ounce bottle for, for $19. It's a little bit easier now. You know, we're, we're in a pandemic. Things get a little weird sometimes. Maybe their production had halted and it's starting to come back. Just something to keep in mind. Um, so far, I'm pretty happy with the way this is looking. But we'll see at the very end if it, it comes out texturally the way I'm looking for and hoping for. I have read as you go, you will get a much better finish if you take lighter coats. This was a little bit thicker than I probably should have for this particular coat. I'll try to wipe a little bit back. Um, the thing I'm finding though is you'll end up with your hand completely covered in oil and a lot of it you can't really get to soak into the surface at least with the, the pressure that I'm applying and because of the method I'm doing this in it's a little bit more difficult to get that pressure. I haven't noticed much of a blending between the coats so like with this nitrocellulose you add a coat and it kind of melts into itself this stuff does have um, I think it says petroleum distillates to help it dry faster and it doesn't seem like it's doing much to the prior coat but because of the way we're wiping it on because of the way it dries it seems like so far so long as I have been even with it, we're getting an even coat. Uh, no advice yet for the sides of the headstock here, but I will say it's it's a little bit more challenging. You know, as I've said, I'm I'm ready to sand back this finish a little bit. So I'm not too worried about bleed over, but I also don't want to absolutely coat it. I didn't find anything about any sort of interaction between the two and I haven't noticed any as of yet other than it doesn't seem like this stuff sticks to it very well which is for this purpose a very good thing all right I lost our fifth coat video um, just an issue with the file there we go get ourselves ready uh, so I'm back. I'm going to go ahead and put a sixth coat on. I'm pretty happy with where the fretboard is, but I know I'm going to end up sanding a little bit of this back. And the back is actually the main reason why I'm doing this. There's still a couple spots that don't quite feel like I've built up enough of a coat, especially up here at the headstock. So we'll put this on and see where that leaves us. We may end up having to go a little bit further. I am going to try to go a little bit lighter on the fretboard though, except right here. There's one thin spot, but at this point we're trying to just kind of build an even coat on and hopefully make this easy to sand back. I'm also starting to wonder about how successful I'm going to be around the frets. Um, hopefully that's not foreshadowing. I said at one point that it felt like we were about halfway through the bottle. Um, even now, there's still quite a bit left in here. I'm not sure if you had managed to get two necks out of a single 
three ounce container, but it's not outside the realm of possibility. Some of it's going to depend on the wood, of course. We've successfully applied six coats of true oil to the neck. At this point, I think we're in a good spot, but before I kind of close out for finishing, I want to try to sand it and make sure we're in a good spot and nothing weird is going to happen, or if it does, I at least catch it for you guys so we can all learn from it. Um, so we're going to hit the easy spot first. So this is 400 grit sandpaper. Five hundred. Five hundred grit sandpaper. Close enough though. Um, everything I've read says to use ooh, that is nice. Okay. Um, says to use steel wool. In fact, that's what the manufacturer recommends as well. I just don't have any. Oh. Alright, well uh So I think what has happened here, so it's pulled some of the gloss out, which is fine by me. If we want to, we can always add just a little bit, one last coat back on, kind of reclaim some of that. The biggest issue I'm seeing right now that obviously it's a little bit difficult to sand evenly and there are still some glossy spots remaining but it feels fantastic now we'll try the fretboard and see what happens this is the part I was a little bit more worried about just in trying to get an even sand and not leave build up around the edges of the frets you guys where we're at so you can see there's still a little little glossiness that I need to even out at least yeah so it seems like the stuff sands off relatively easily um, I will hit the back of the headstock here too all right I think that's where we're gonna leave it for now um, as I said I'm gonna go through sand the body lightly like probably with some more 400 grit and give it one or two more coats of the satin lacquer and when we come back to the electronics i'll let you see how it turns out